Our plan is to cut down all of the asparagus ferns that are behind me. You can see that they're already starting to yellow, so it's time to cut them all down. And we're going to also clean out our chicken coop because we do a deep bed method. We clean it out twice a year in the spring and in the fall. The fresh manure and shavings will go onto the asparagus beds in all of the planters and on the ground around all of our trees. And the old compost that we cleared out of the chicken coop in the spring, that will get put onto the front garden. So that's what we'll be doing today. asparagus fronds down. It's a good idea to weed the bed if there are any weeds in the bed. Uh, that way it's less work for you in the spring. If you uh, take a look through, I weeded most of the bed. Um, there's still going to be some amount of weeds but it'll be a lot easier for me when springtime comes to just uh, keep the bed weeded while the asparagus is growing. Um, and that's because I try to uh, maintain as much as possible a weed-free bed. of the shavings out of the chicken coop um, in the area where they mostly eat and they don't sleep we dragged all those shavings onto the ground because it's wet we're gonna put some fresh straw over top of all of this so it all just composts down which it composts pretty fast in the run but we're gonna add some fresh shavings and some DE into the chicken coop right now
the dancey dance way of spreading the shavings. Careful, we're getting too much in the other part of the shed. Okay, that's good. One more. What we'll do as the weeks go by, every week we will come in here, we'll put a few shavings down and some DE, we'll mix all of that up with the new shavings and then lay one more layer of fresh shavings on top of that. And we do that once a week throughout the whole entire winter. That way when spring comes, hopefully most of the shavings have composted down, but also as it's composting, it'll release heat. So it'll keep the birds a little bit warmer inside of the coop. Uh, when you do the deep bed method, you have to have a lot of uh, air flow because it will get very humid and moist in your chicken coop. So we have a window that's over there and also in the second part of our coop, we have a mesh area. Um, we will block part of it with wood, but the top part will stay open so fresh airflow can keep coming in through both of the windows so that throughout the day, this one in the daytime, this window will open, at night we'll keep it closed, and the mesh that's there will be electrified so that raccoons will not be able to get in to uh, harass our chickens. So that's the plan for this year. All right. We have fresh hay down on the ground for the birds. Um, we have fresh shavings in the coop and some DE. Ducks are enjoying themselves right now. Quack, 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 quack. Everybody else is enjoying their space. They've decided instead of free ranging, they're going to hang out inside now that there's all this straw in here and uh, now it's time to deal with all of that manure and shavings in the back fenced garden the next thing we're going to do is start dumping the shavings and the manure from the chicken coop into this back garden So this is all of the shavings and manure that were in the chicken coop. I'll spread this into the bags with the apple trees, the grapes, and uh, any of the other bags of fruit or any of the other containers of fruit. I will also put some of the compost in the back with um, the raspberries and uh, some around the, um, the rhubarb as well. So that's it right now because our back garden, we are really not harvesting anymore. Is everybody happy? I think the birds are all pleased with their new clean chicken coop or poultry coop. Yeah? You guys happier? You feel better? It's nicer. Yeah? It's nicer now? You're happy that we're all clean? I'm happy. <laughs>